The Book of Hours is a Christian devotional book popular in the Middle Ages. It is the most common type of surviving medieval illuminated manuscript. Like every manuscript, each manuscript Book of Hours is unique in one way or another, but most contain a similar collection of texts, prayers and psalms, often with appropriate decorations, for Christian devotion. Illumination or decoration is minimal in many examples, often restricted to decorated capital letters at the start of psalms and other prayers, but books made for wealthy patrons may be extremely lavish, with full-page miniatures. Books of hours were usually written in Latin the Latin name for them is Horae, although there are many entirely or partially written in vernacular European languages, especially Dutch. The English term primer is usually now reserved for those books written in English. Tens of thousands of books of hours have survived to the present day, in libraries and private collections throughout the world. The typical book of hours is an abbreviated form of the breviary which contained the divine office recited in monasteries. It was developed for lay people who wished to incorporate elements of monasticism into their devotional life. Reciting the hours typically centered upon the reading of a number of psalms and other prayers. A typical example contains the calendar of church feasts, extracts from the four gospels, the mass readings for major feasts, the little office of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the fifteen psalms of degrees, the seven penitential psalms, a litany of saints, an office for the dead and the hours of the cross. Most 15th century books of hours have these basic contents. The Marian prayers obs crote, I beseech thee, and O intemerata, O undefiled one were frequently added, as were devotions for use at Mass, and meditations on the Passion of Christ, among other optional texts. History The Book of Hours has its ultimate origin in the Psalter, which monks and nuns were required to recite. By the 12th century this had developed into the breviary, with weekly cycles of psalms, prayers, hymns, antiphons, and readings which changed with the liturgical season. Eventually a selection of texts was produced in much shorter volumes and came to be called a book of hours. Many books of hours were made for women. There is some evidence that they were sometimes given as a wedding present from a husband to his bride. Frequently they were passed down through the family, as recorded in wills, although the most heavily illuminated books of hours were enormously expensive, a small book with little or no illumination was affordable much more widely, and increasingly so during the 15th century. The earliest surviving English example was apparently written for a laywoman living in or near Oxford in about 1240. It is smaller than a modern paperback but heavily illuminated with major initials, but no full-page miniatures. By the 15th century, there are also examples of servants owning their own books of hours. In a court case from 1500, a pauper woman is accused of stealing a domestic servant's prayer book. Very rarely the books included prayers specifically composed for their owners, but more often the texts are adapted to their tastes or sex, including the inclusion of their names in prayers. Some include images depicting their owners, and some their coats of arms. These, together with the choice of saints commemorated in the calendar and suffrages, are the main clues for the identity of the first owner. Eamon Duffy explains how these books reflected the person who commissioned them. He claims that the "...personal character of these books was often signaled by the inclusion of prayers specially composed or adapted for their owners." Furthermore, he states that as many as half the surviving manuscript books of ours have annotations, marginalia or additions of some sort. Such additions might amount to no more than the insertion of some regional or personal patron saint in the standardized calendar, but they often include devotional material added by the owner." Owners could write in specific dates important to them, notes on the months where things happened that they wished to remember, and even the images found within these books would be personalized to the owners such as localized saints and local festivities. By at least the 15th century, the Netherlands and Paris workshops were producing books of hours for stock or distribution, rather than waiting for individual commissions. These were sometimes with spaces left for the addition of personalized elements such as local feasts or heraldry. The style and layout for traditional books of hours became increasingly standardized around the middle of the 13th century. The new style can be seen in the books produced by the Oxford illuminator William de Brailles who ran a commercial workshop he was in minor orders. His books included various aspects of the church's breviary and other liturgical aspects for use by the laity. 
He incorporated a perpetual calendar, gospels, prayers to the Virgin Mary, the Stations of the Cross, prayers to the Holy Spirit, penitential psalms, litanies, prayers for the dead, and suffrages to the saints. The book's goal was to help his devout patroness to structure her daily spiritual life in accordance with the eight canonical hours, matins to Compline, observed by all devout members of the Church. The text, augmented by rubrication, gilding, miniatures, and beautiful illuminations, sought to inspire meditation on the mysteries of faith, the sacrifice made by Christ for man, and the horrors of hell, and to especially highlight devotion to the Virgin Mary whose popularity was at a zenith during the 13th century. This arrangement was maintained over the years as many aristocrats commissioned the production of their own books. By the end of the 15th century, the advent of printing made books more affordable and much of the emerging middle class could afford to buy a printed book of hours, and new manuscripts were only commissioned by the very wealthy. The Kitab Salat al sawai widely considered the first book in Arabic printed using movable type, is a book of hours intended for Arabic-speaking Christians and presumably commissioned by Pope Julius II. Decoration. As many books of hours are richly illuminated, they form an important record of life in the 15th and 16th centuries as well as the iconography of medieval Christianity. Some of them were also decorated with jeweled covers, portraits, and heraldic emblems. Some were bound as girdle books for easy carrying, though few of these or other medieval bindings have survived. Luxury books, like the Talbot Hours of John Talbot, 1st Earl of Shrewsbury, may include a portrait of the owner, and in this case his wife, kneeling in adoration of the virgin and child as a form of donor portrait. In expensive books, miniature cycles showed the life of the virgin or the passion of Christ in eight scenes decorating the eight hours of the virgin, and the labors of the months and signs of the zodiac decorating the calendar. Secular scenes of calendar cycles include many of the best-known images from Books of Hours, and played an important role in the early history of landscape painting. From the 14th century decorated borders round the edges of at least important pages were common in heavily illuminated books, including Books of Hours. At the beginning of the 15th century these were still usually based on foliage designs, and painted on a plain background, but by the second half of the century colored or patterned backgrounds with images of all sorts of objects, were used in luxury books. Second-hand books of hours were often modified for new owners, even among royalty. After defeating Richard III, Henry VII gave Richard's book of hours to his mother, who modified it to include her name. Heraldry was usually erased or overpainted by new owners. Many have handwritten annotations, personal editions and marginal notes but some new owners also commissioned new craftsmen to include more illustrations or texts. Sir Thomas Lukener of Trotton hired an illustrator to add details to what is now known as the Lukener Hours. Flyleaves of some surviving books include notes of household accounting or records of births and deaths, in the manner of later family Bibles. Some owners had also collected autographs of notable visitors to their house. Books of hours were often the only book in a house, and were commonly used to teach children to read, sometimes having a page with the alphabet to assist this. Towards the end of the 15th century, printers produced books of hours with woodcut illustrations, and the book of hours was one of the main works decorated in the related metal kit technique. Topic: The luxury book of hours. Topic. In the 14th century the Book of Hours overtook the Psalter as the most common vehicle for lavish illumination. This partly reflected the increasing dominance of illumination both commissioned and executed by laymen rather than monastic clergy. From the late 14th century a number of bibliophile royal figures began to collect luxury illuminated manuscripts for their decorations, a fashion that spread across Europe from the Valois courts of France and the Burgundy, as well as Prague under Charles IV, Holy Roman Emperor and later Wenceslaus. A generation later, Duke Philip the Good of Burgundy was the most important collector of manuscripts, with several of his circle also collecting. It was during this period that the Flemish cities overtook Paris as the leading force in illumination, a position they retained until the terminal decline of the illuminated manuscript in the early 16th century. 
The most famous collector of all, the French Prince John, Duke of Berry (1340–1416), owned several books of hours, some of which survive, including the most celebrated of all, the Trace Riches Hers du Duc de Berry. This was begun around 1410 by the Limborg brothers, although left incomplete by them, and decoration continued over several decades by other artists and owners. The same was true of the Turin Milan hours, which also passed through Berry's ownership. By the mid-15th century, a much wider group of nobility and rich businesspeople were able to commission highly decorated, often small, books of hours. With the arrival of printing, the market contracted sharply, and by 1500 the finest quality books were once again being produced only for royal or very grand collectors. One of the last major illuminated book of hours was the Farnese Hours completed for the Roman Cardinal Alessandro Farnese in 1546 by Giulio Clovio, who was also the last major manuscript illuminator. Gallery Topic. Topic. Selected examples. Topic. See category: Illuminated books of hours for a fuller list. Topic. In Europe. Topic. Book of hours. The De Brailles hours, formerly known as. The Dyson Perrins Hours. 1240, British Library, Ad. Mississippi, 49999 Howard Salter and Hours, 1310-1320, British Library, M. S. Arundel 83, P.T. 1 Sforza Hours, London, British Library, Ad. Ms. 34294 Bedford Hours, London, British Library, Ad. Ms. 18850 Trace Riches Hers du Duc de Berry, around 1411-1416, Musée Condé, Chantilly, France, Ms. 65 Turin Milan Hours, Turin City Museum of Ancient Art, Ms. Inv. 47 Trace Bells Hers du Duc de Berry, Brussels, Royal Library of Belgium, 11060-11061 Petites Hers du Duc de Berry, Paris, Royal Library, Lot. 18014 Les Trace Belles Hers de Notre Dame du Duc de Berry, Paris, Bibliothèque Nationale, Nouv. ACQ, Lot. 3093 Hours of Gian Galeazzo Visconti, Biblioteca Nazionale in Florence. Rohan Hours, 1430s, BNF Taymouth Hours Hours of Etienne Chevalier, 1450s, Sheets in several libraries Black Hours of Galeazzo Maria Sforza, c. 1460, Austrian National Library in Vienna Grandes Hers of Anne of Brittany, BNF Hours of James IV of Scotland, c. 1503, Austrian National Library Primer of Claude of France, 1505 Cambridge, Fitzwilliam Museum, Ms. 294 Simplified for a Young Princess Book of Hours Hours, Milan, Biblioteca Trivolziana, Cod, 470 Hours of Gian Galeazzo Visconti Landbeblig Book of Hours, 1390-1400, National Library of Wales, NLWMS 17520A Topic in the United States Topic Bells Hers of Jean de France, Duc de Berry, Miniatures of The Limburg Brothers, New York, The Metropolitan Museum of Art, The Cloisters Black Hours, MSM.493, New York, The Morgan Library and Museum Hours of Catherine of Cleves, 15th century property of Caterina van Cleef, New York, the Morgan Library and Museum Hours of Jean de Evereux, 1325-1328, New York, the Metropolitan Museum of Art, the Cloisters Hours of Henry VIII, with miniatures by Jean Poyer, New York, the Morgan Library and Museum Farnese Hours, 1546, illuminated by Giulio Clovio, Morgan Library in New York Topic in Australia Topic Rothschild Prayerbook, c. 1500-1520, on display Play at the National Library of Australia in Canberra, owned by Australian businessman Kerry Stokes. Topic see also topic Agpaya Canonical Hours Divine Service Eastern Orthodoxy and Horologian Liturgy of the Hours and Breviary topic Notes topic topic References topic The Oxford Dictionary of Art ISBN 0-19-280022-1 Duffy, Amon, The Stripping of the Altars, Traditional Religion in England 1400-1580 Yale, 1992. ISBN 0-300-06076-9 Eamon Duffy, A Very Personal Possession History Today November 2006 John Harthen, The Book of Hours, with a Historical Survey and Commentary by John Harthen. New York, Kroll, 1977. 
Plummer, John, The Hours of Catherine of Cleves, New York, George Braziller, 1966 Thomas, Marcel, The Golden Age, Manuscript Painting at the Time of Jean, Duc de Berry, 1979, Chateau and Windus, ISBN 0701124725 topic Further reading topic Ashley, K. M. 2002 Creating Family Identity in Books of Hours. Journal of Medieval and Early Modern Studies, 1 145 165. Calkins, Robert G. Illuminated Books of the Middle Ages. Ithaca, New York, Cornell University Press, 1983. ISBN 9780801415067. Duckers, Rob, and Peter Roloffs. The Limborg Brothers, Nijmegen Masters at the French Court 1400 1416. Ghent, Ludian, 2005. ISBN 9789055445776. Duffy, Eamon. Marking the Hours English People and Their Prayers 1240 1570. New Haven, Yale University Press, 2006. ISBN 0 300 11714 0. Pact, Otto. Book Illumination in the Middle Ages Translation, K. Davenport, London, Harvey Miller Publishers, 1986. ISBN 0-19-921060-8 Simmons, Eleanor. Les Hers de Nuremberg, Les Editions du Cerf, Paris, 1994. ISBN 2-204-04841-0 Week, Roger S. Painted Prayers, The Book of Hours in Medieval and Renaissance Art, New York, George Braziller, 2004. ISBN 978-0-8076-1457-0 Week, Roger S. Time Sanctified, The Book of Hours in Medieval Art and Life, New York, George Braziller, 1988. ISBN 978-0807614983 for individual works The Hours of Mary of Burgundy facsimile edition. Harvey Miller, 1995. ISBN 1-872501-87-7 Barstow, Kurt. The Gualangi d'Est Hours, Art and Devotion in Renaissance Ferrara. Los Angeles, Getty Publications, 2000. ISBN 978-0-89236-370-4 Clark, Gregory T. The Spitz Master, A Parisian Book of Hours. Los Angeles, Getty Publications, 2003. ISBN 9780892367122 Mice, Millard, and Edith W. Kirsch. The Visconti Hours. New York, George Braziller, 1972. ISBN 9780807613597 Mice, Millard, and Elizabeth H. Beetson. The Bells Hers of Jean, Duke of Berry. New York, George Braziller, 1974. ISBN 978-0807607503 Mice, Millard, and Marcel Thomas. The Rohan Master, A Book of Hours Translation, Catherine W. Carson. New York, George Braziller, 1973. ISBN 978-0807613580 Porcher, Jean. The Rohan Book of Hours, with an introduction and notes by Jean Porcher. New York, Thomas Yoseloff, 1959. Topic external links Topic General Information Book of Hours, Harry Ransom Center of the University of Texas at Austin World Digital Library from Partner, Library of Congress Digital Books of Hours A Masterpiece Reconstructed, The Hours of Louis XII. Prints and Books. Victoria and Albert Museum. Retrieved 28 November 2009. Sacred Image and Illusion in Late Flemish Manuscripts, Robert G. Calkins, Cornell University Abe Books, Collecting Books of Hours with a Varied Selection of Examples. 541 Examples from the Digital Scriptorium Book of Hours Tutorial, Les Enlumineurs and the Pierpont Morgan Library, MSM.1093 Blog, PECIA, Le Manuscript Medieval Tilde The Medieval Manuscript Prints and People, A Social History of Printed Pictures, An Exhibition Catalogue from the Metropolitan Museum of Art Fully Available Online as PDF Full Turn the Pages Online Individual Manuscripts Lavishly Illustrated Books of Hours, 12th through 16th Centuries, Center for Digital Initiatives, University of Vermont Libraries The Sforza Hours at the British Library. Book of Hours, Use of Rome The Golf Book, C.1540, BL, Ad Mississippi, 24098. Catholic Church. Book of Hours Ms. Library of Congress. Rosenwald Ms. 
10, 1524. 113 leaves, 23 lines, calendar 33 lines, bound, parchment, call. Ilt, 24 centimeters. Picturing Prayer, Books of Hours at Houghton Library, Harvard University. Book of Hours, of Premonstratensian use at the Digital Archives Initiative Memorial University of Newfoundland. Late 15th century French Book of Hours de Villers Book of Hours, digitized collection, Utah State University. The texts A hypertext Book of Hours, full texts and translation Late medieval and Renaissance illuminated manuscripts, Books of Hours 1400-1530 An excellent guide containing tables describing all the various uses, also with original Latin texts and high-resolution photographs of many books. Books of Hours at the University of Pennsylvania Libraries, fully digitized with descriptions. <laughs>